Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate importing an MD5 mesh and its associated MD5 animations into a way builder. Then I'll save that out in the AWD format, I'll load it into an ActionScript application, and animate the mesh. Things I used to do this was the away 3 d example files, which you can get from GitHub. Um, just go ahead and download that zip if you don't already have the examples. Uh, inside the embeds folder there, there's a Hell Knight. And it's got an MD5 mesh animation and textures that, that I went ahead and used to figure this out with. Also, you're going to need a way builder. You can get that on away tools. And you'll need the away 3D core. Uh, that's the main library that interfaces with the stage 2D stuff. And of course, Flash develops so you have something to compile all the code with and make it run. Let's go ahead and open up a way builder. This is where we're going to set up our scene, load our mesh, our animations, save our AWD file. So let's go ahead and import. Let's find those example files, embeds, Hell Knight. Uh, load up the MD5 mesh. And then so let's do this. Uh, I like to name my meshes or uh, everything just so. So it's easier, easier to keep track of later. Um, so we have our Hell Knight mesh. That should have also loaded the Hell Knight geometry. And a couple things in the animation tab, including the Hell Knight skeleton and a animation set. Okay. So if we look at this bad boy, he has four sub meshes. The first one's the body. Let's go ahead and create a new material. And we'll load the diffuse texture. New texture. Hell Knight Fuse. We'll load the specular texture. New texture. Specular. We'll load the normals. Um, lighting. Oh, we need to add some lights. Let's go ahead and add a couple of uh, directional lights. Um, something different somehow. Sometimes this thing does weird stuff. Anyway, there's some lights. Let's add a light picker to group our lights up. And then let's go back and apply that to the texture. Uh, light picker. There we go. Now we actually see things happening with the lights. Makes it cooler. Um, and one problem we have is the rest of the meshes aren't loaded yet. So, the second and third sub mesh are drool saliva. I'm going to create a new material that's just basically invisible to get rid of those. And we'll do that for both of them. She takes care of most of it, but there's still something in there. That little something is actually his tongue. Now, the examples don't come with the tongue texture for whatever reason, but I do have those textures because I have the game Doom 3, which is where this all comes from. I went ahead and extracted those. And let's just get those. So this is the diffuse, and this is specular, and this is the normals. So now his tongue might look kind of normal. Let's pick the light picker. Okay. Um, that's looking pretty good. Really, the only thing else we have to add is not a light is a camera. So I'm going to stick a camera in here. Um, it's 
rotate that around. Let's move it. And other than that, bring it up a little bit. Let's bring it over a little bit. Let's rotate it a little bit. Uh, that should should look okay. It's it's something. Um. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to zoom in on him. Okay, so let's go ahead and import the animations now. So import. No, I don't want to save it right now. Um, let's find the stand animation. Now it comes in with a null name. Stand. Um, what we're going to want to do is add that to the animation set. So now our animation set actually has something in it. Um, let's create an animator. Uh, this is what's going to connect the Hell Knight mesh up with this. Okay. So when you look at it right now, you don't see anything animating. That is because we actually have to set that animator on the mesh. And now if we play it, we should see him doing the animation. This particular one just loops around. That's why I picked it, so it's nice and easy. Let's go ahead and save this bad boy somewhere. Source. Assets, Hell Knight, yeah, replace. Okay, so that's it for the Hell Knight. Next, we are going to go ahead and load up Flash Develop. All right, so the the code is the next iteration of the Way 3D Scene Viewer that was created in the last video I made. Um, the code is in the same place on GitHub, so if you go there and download the source. You should be able to just compile and run it. Um, so I'll just briefly go through this, what's going on in the code. Um, the main is largely the same. I have my Away Viewer, Away AWD Viewer, and I now have a default animation name, and I'm setting that to Hell Knight Stand in this case. And instead of loading the plane that I had in the last one, I'm loading our Hell Knight. Uh, I also add a click handler which calls a set camera next. I added some methods to handle multiple cameras in the scene. Uh, let's go ahead and look at that AWD viewer. It's changed quite a bit. Um, after handle load complete. So once the AWD file is loaded, it now uh, calls this animate mesh, and it also sets the camera to the first camera in the scene. Um, anime mesh, here we go. Uh, it basically loops through the entire scene looking for the next mesh and when it finds one that has animation it tries to run that with the default animation name. Uh, these are the camera ones I was talking about. It basically traverses the whole scene looking for all the cameras and you just keep calling the next to change the scene to the next camera it finds. And that's where these helper, scene helper and object container helper come in. Uh, I added those to traverse the scenes and the objects to find all the meshes and cameras and whatnot. Um, anyway, if we just run it, it, uh, it should run. I hope. Hmm, it did run. But there's a problem that uh, saliva is still showing up. Um, hmm. All right, let's go back here and let's look at that. Invis material must not be working like I thought it would. It shows up here. Uh, let's uh, let's change it to alpha blending and. Uh, save it out. And while we're here, let's go ahead and add another camera so we can show off the camera stuff. Let's rotate that. Let's 
rotate that. Let's just make this one a lot closer. That's probably too close. Okay. So now we actually have a second camera in the scene looking up at him. Let's go ahead and save. Let's go back, compile this again. Sweet. And he doesn't have the weird non drool. And the clicks are toggling between the two cameras in the scene. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, have fun.